Hi. Uh, Angela Bishop from Network 10 Australia. Hi, we've Terry. met. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, great to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, the, yeah, Thank from you. the room. Um, did you have to convince yourself at any point that you could pull this role off, given everything you had to throw into it, the singing, the dancing, you know, having known Elton and having to somehow put that on screen? What sort of pressure did you feel you were under? Of course, it's a, a, a great deal of pressure, but, uh, you know, in my experience, short that it is, it seems to me that a lead actor is only equal, is only, is only uh, as good as the people he has around him. I'm very blessed in that I had an incredible director, an incredible creative team, a brilliant crew. And of course, you know, Elton Burney, David Furnish's uh, patronage, and they were all adamant that I was the man to do it. So um, I began to believe that and felt confident enough to have a good time and enjoy myself uh, as well as do a lot of hard work. And um, you, you, yeah, you have to say that, thank you. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, of course, there's always doubts and fears, but yeah, that's the director of the film. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Thanks, Angela, thank you. I'm Natasha from Germany. Hi. Great performance. I loved the movie. I thank saw. Thank you. I actually saw it three times. That's good. Thank you. I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> Is there an advice that Elton John gave you personally before shooting? Uh, a lot of what Elton says you can't actually repeat because it's, <laughs> it's it's quite it's quite naughty a lot of it. But he said to me the thing that he said to me that was really lovely. He said. Um, to don't worry about sounding exactly like me. You know, the movie is, you know, it's inspired by Elton and Bernie's legacy. It's in the spirit of their story, but it's hopefully very personal as well. And, and what Elton very kindly did was give me the license to, with Giles Martin and Dexter and everybody else, um, reinvent the songs and, and create a character that's a kind of a hybrid of him and me, because it's a very personal situation that the character finds themselves in, this journey of recovery in a therapy room. So it needs a little bit of you as well as a bit of Elton, I think. A bit of me as well as Elton. Thank you. Hi, Karen. Uh, Hi. Congratulations. I'm just uh, wondering, how did you prepare for this very important role? I, I know it's one thing to portray a role for someone who's still around and someone who's no longer around. With Elton John, he's still around. Um, did you have any fear? Um, you, you know, tell us how is working with uh, Elton John? Um, yeah, of course. I mean, there's always an element of trepidation and, and fear, I think, particularly when you're portraying someone that's so well-loved. But fear can be galvanizing if you don't let it rule you, and it can be harnessed to your benefit, and it can be an aid. Um, in terms of preparation, I just listened to Elton's music, uh, read as much as I could, watched as much as I could, and spent time with him and spent a lot of time talking with Dexter uh, Fletcher, the director, about building a character and spending as much time as you can making it feel intensely personal so that it's not something that feels, um, so that it's something that feels uh, raw and true to you and is you know, based on your own experiences as well as the experiences of the person you're depicting. When I was at drama school, someone said to me that um, imagination is memory mixed up and reused, and I think Acting when it's good is is it's all about bringing your own experiences to bear and putting them through the filter of a character, and that's what I felt this part afforded me the opportunity to do. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. I'm really pleased. Thank you.